Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Food, miles, and bananas take three. This is my third fact of the day on bananas, and also my 200th fact of the day. Yes, come on. So, bananas. I had a banana this morning, and it was really nice, and it had a little stick on it. And on the sticker, there was a code, and you go online, and you type in this code, and, you're, and it says, your banana came from the Maryland um, banana plantation in Colombia and I thought oh that's really nice tells you a story about it tells you how it takes nine months for the banana to grow four six meters in height and then it, it can grow to 30 to 50 kilograms in mass and then it needs to be tied supported there are over a million bananas at this huge plantation and each of the bunches so the bunch holds about 200 bananas and then the hands the little hands of bananas are cut from those and each one is wrapped up in plastic protected from insects and from the environment and then they're transported all the way from there to your supermarket and it can take 25 to 30 days and I was like hang on a second that's quite a long way and then it said it takes 12 days by sea and I was like oh okay now the bananas obviously are picked when they're not ripe and then they ripen just before they get to the supermarket but 12 days by sea that's quite a long way and that obviously costs fuel and then I thought to myself do you know what this is a really nice sustainable farm and it, there's you know there's a picture of a farmer and he's looking really happy and everybody's really happy now and lots of jobs and everything like that but the banana is then transported all the way to the supermarket and in that transportation process that's using a lot of fuels fossil fuels which then increase the amount of carbon dioxide is in the atmosphere and then increase global warming and the greenhouse effect and I was suddenly stuck thinking do you know what yeah it's great that we buy these bananas and it's from sustainable farms and farmers getting more money and all that that's brilliant but on the other side this we, we're actually helping to increase the greenhouse effect by buying these bananas which have traveled thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of miles just to get to our supermarkets then I went online and looked up locally grown produce and Eddie's website which you can go on and you can just type in where you are and it tells you all the different produce that are local to you. So if you want to look after the environment, if you want to help conserve the food miles that your food travels, you can buy them from much more local um, distribution centres. That's something to look at. On the plus side with global warming, what it means is at some point in the future you might be able to get these huge banana plantations in somewhere like Staines or, or even Edinburgh because we're gonna, the earth's going to heat up that much so every cloud so when you're buying food just check how far has it come what are the food miles what are the alternatives but i will leave that decision to you think carefully about it that is food miles and banana take three that is my 200 factor today thank you for watching love you bye love you bye love you bye in height hi berry just dog saying hi